what is good everybody welcome back to another youtube video hey it's been a while but guys i went somewhere cool i went somewhere extravagant i went to japan for my summer vacation i gotta tell you guys all about it of course but i'm just gonna start this up with some new stuff some new information all this uh good stuff that we've, that we've been having because i miss a lot of information um but i wanted to actually dive into something that i should have done a long time ago but i actually got this in japan uh I actually you know got it from the native land the dual sense edge controller now i wanted to get this controller do a review on it and all that good stuff you guys can see i have it it's in a nifty little case that is like solid as a rock um it's it has like paddles and uh even like uh the thumbsticks to change um what, what your type of grip is you can, you can even go back to ps uh two days if you want the uh, old uh thumbstick um grips or whatever all that good stuff it has interchangeable um paddles and all that goodness it even has the uh interchangeable like you can take out the uh, middle plates and change out the actual joysticks if you have stick drift or whatnot and um it just comes in a nifty little case that the charging cord is really really long and it actually plugs into the back of the case where it actually keeps it protected and charged at the same time for drops and all that good stuff i particularly use it a lot because i hear that the battery life was crappy on this and i i gotta say that that is that is definitely some truth to that uh i played for a good five hours straight and the battery life kind of like went down now for me that's kind of good enough but for i know for a lot of people who do longer gaming sessions that is not going to be ideal or typical for their gaming uh journey now with my whole experience with this controller is that this is definitely an advantage it definitely gives you a one-up on whatever game that you're playing um mostly because it beats the comfortability factor a lot of a lot of controllers um are universal you, you kind of pick up the controller like the dual sense uh edge uh not dual sense edge but the actual regular dual sense you know when you pick that up dual sense so the dual sense edge like when you pick that up it's kind of like you know one one and done type of thing you hold it it's, it's, it fits my hands pretty well a lot of people don't like it the triggers are adaptive but not uh you know like you don't get to change them like you can do with the uh, dual edge or whatever and uh it's it the dual sense edge kind of makes this one look really basic because uh yeah it definitely allows you to do a lot more than just uh you know kind of just play the game uh regularly it adds that comfortability factor so like i said you can do a lot of things with this so in, when it comes to the settings of it you can actually change the settings change the button mappings and that's one of the big things with like scuff and competitive controllers again that comfortability factor is that you can actually tailor it to how you want to play so if you don't want to play with the triggers uh so high up you can push the, the bars on the back of the uh, controller and make them more adaptive make them more responsive uh quick quicker timing you can even go in the settings and change the response timing of uh, all the triggers and even the sticks for uh the dead space all that good stuff you can literally refine it like this is like the most intricate tooling tuning ability uh in the, in their whole system like they're in their whole like hardware system so when it comes to all of that <clears throat> for me personally i play with my controller like I play with my my middle or index fingers down towards the middle of the of the actual um controller and so it was a big help for me at least because now i can add the triggers as the paddles so i literally have a section where it's just literally regular games like uh, i guess story driven games or games that i require using the trigger a lot i switch them to the paddles and so i disabled the triggers so that i no longer have to touch them and my hands just feel better that way because i could just use my index fingers to do the r1 and the lb and then i can use my um the second fingers or the middle fingers to do the paddles which uh kind of helps me again comfortable it doesn't it's not a one fire sure way of doing it it's, it's just for comfortability uh sake and you can actually again tailor it you can literally map any button to any anything on this controller aside from that let's get into the look now the look of this thing is actually great um again aside from all that setting your profiles and stuff like that it really gives you a good look uh it gives you a more advanced look of the dual sense edge when you put them in comparison to each other 
in comparison to each other, they kind of really, uh, again, one, they resemble each other. Yet the DualSense Edge is like a little bit more like just base colored. This one, I, I think that if they add more colors to it, it would give it real like shine uh, to really just be top of the market. Like I like the uh, symbols in the middle and even the back buttons have the little fact, uh, little, you know, the little, what do you call it? Textures on the back of them with the uh, PlayStation symbols. It's a pretty, it's a pretty nice looking controller. I'm not, I'm not going to say that it's, that it's not. Now, overall, again, like, aside from the battery life and everything, it's a pretty solid controller, and I think it's actually worth your buck. Um, I think it's really, uh, it was expensive. It was like $200, but it went down a little bit, so I think you should take advantage of it. Um, I believe it's like 180 around that range. Um, but overall, the controller is an 8 out of 10. Again, that battery life and just, just the fact that I have to keep it plugged in for maximum connectivity. Um, not not saying that i have to i mean just like any controller keeping it plugged in is best but i mean the battery life kind of like makes it kind of hard to just play longer sessions in that uh aspect but you know like i said i could just limit my sessions but others who would like to play longer gaming sessions will uh probably have a problem with using it it's not the again it's not the best controller if you want to use for all around games this is strictly just to have a one-up in like games that are competitive like i play again i'm playing college football some people want to use different uh buttons or triggers i play games like uh fighting games um some those are, could be used but mostly like cod and stuff in fortnite is really what you want to get into this for uh so i appreciate you guys for watching this video if you guys enjoyed my little review or take or my first impressions on the controller uh welcome back to my channel and i hope you guys leave a like in the video subscribe if you're new Let's get on some more gaming content. Peace.